Hang on. Summer Sword. Compare it to... Sten's Sword. Identical base stats. His current sword is 20, plus 20% 20 fire resistance. 10 damage versus dragons. Uh, plus 2 damage versus undead. Plus 4 damage versus undead. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to switch. Ooh. Cost of 50 stamina. Uh, I'll keep him in the one he's already in. The boots, I mean. About surely there's nothing here that's better than what Alistair already has. Oh, um, no, you know what? I like Kalen. I like the set. Kalen's set is pretty good. Morgan, you're good. I never got rings for everybody, or enough rings to give to everybody. That's interesting. I'm going to keep the Gloves of the Legion set as well. What well, says he doesn't have enough strength? How can that be? 42. Huh? He's got a penalty to strength? From wait a minute, hang on. I'm take that off. I think I don't think he lost um, the ability to wear that because he was still wearing it. But I don't. I didn't realize that that was the thing that was going to happen. Yeah, sure, what the hell. No, that Warden's Oath, you gotta keep that. Uh, well, <laughs> although Alistair didn't keep his Warden's Oath. I don't need reflection. <sighs> okay, we got some characters to level up. War cry. Uh, bravery. The warrior's unwavering courage grants bonuses to damage. Physical resistance, mental resistance, as well as a bonus to critical chance that increases proportionally to the number of enemies above two. So warriors engaging. Disengage. Death blow. Every battle seems closer to hand restoring a portion to the warrior's stamina. Well, you know me. I'm going to go for the uh, passive one if I can take it. Which I can. the hell i guess arcane warrior i don't know what that's going to get us but might as well combat magic yeah nah it's fine death magic Sure. Or Affliction Hex. 
I don't really I haven't really used vulnerability hex too much, have I? Although this would be handy, given that we've got cold damage uh, usually with her weapon, uh, with her weapon bonus increase, whatever you want to call it. Hmm. Yeah, sure. I'll probably forget to use it, but that's fine. Shimmering Shield sustained. The Arcane Warrior is surrounded by a Shimmering Shield of energy that blocks most damage and grants large bonuses to armor and all resistances. When active, however, the Shimmering Shield consumes mana rapidly. Oh. Hmm. Haste? Ooh. That would be nice. Nope. Also drains mana rapidly. Well, I feel like no matter what's going to happen, we're going to have to rather have the haste, I think. Mass rejuvenation? Uh... Huh. I don't know. What would I rather have? Haste? Mass I think I'd rather have haste. Gotta level everybody up. Uh, actually, there. I don't know if that makes a difference. Death blow. Time warrior froze fells an enemy. The end of the battle seems closer at hand. Perfect striking. Killing blow. Rock barrage. Penalties to movement speed, damage knocked down, unless they pass physical resistance check. Friendly fire possible. Party members who are nearby whenever rock, Shale has Rock Mastery active receive great bonuses to ranged critical chance and ranged attack speed. Eh. That one. Let's see. Okay, Augur and I super duper don't care about. All dexterity. Uh, if I had found Ranger, I would have given you that one, but no. Although, just getting the specialization bonus would be worth it, wouldn't it? Two dexterity, two and a half critical chance. Two dexterity, one damage per hit. Let's go with that. I'm not going to use any of them, but... Uh, well, I guess I'm going to use... Oh wait, here we go. No, that's not that's no good. We don't need backstabs. Shit, I don't actually have a good use for any of her skills. Talents, rather. Talent points. I'll take that on the off chance I can get that one. Oh no, that's a backstab. I don't know. Sorry, Liliana, I don't have a second class that would be good for you. Motivate. The Duke level? He did. Okay. A few things to sell. Ah, fancy meeting you here. I heard rumors that Red Cliff was once again open for business, but my word, isn't this amazing? Such bustle. Mm -hmm. The Earl has kindly offered my son and I lodgings in exchange for supplies. I'm happy to help him. And you too, of course. If you have need of my wares, you have but to ask. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, Bodon. 
Let's see. Oh, have you heard any rumors? There's wonderful news. Aral Eamon yeah. has been cured of his strange illness. And not only is he better, but he's also called an ability to Denerum to settle the succession. It's been a while since I've talked to you, I guess. I'm some unknown son of Merrick's, of all things. And he says he should be the rightful king. I just hope they finally get to fighting the Darkspawn. That's what I've heard on the road, anyhow. <laughs> Take it for what it is. Uh -huh. I'll see yours. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. Hmm. Let's see. So, hey, I was looking for gifts. I think the, f the free ones are the ones that give you super, super bonus points, right? I don't want those. Uh, thoughtful gift. Wait a minute. I can buy 50 of them? No, that's no good. Crushable pigeon, that must be... Ah, damn it, there it is! Can I undo? Let's Let's see if I can undo. Liliana's and give her the ranger one. Uh, yeah, I'm going to sell the Summer Sword. I can't believe it, but I am. Let's sell both this Golden Sun. Fuck it. Sell all of it except Kaelin's shield, because that's kind of important to keep, I think. Ooh. Hmm. for days. That's all the gifts, right? Yeah. Okay, I guess that's all I'm going to do right now. I could... Maybe I'll talk to... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if I can do that. Can't get to level up. Can I? Eh. Shit. Well, maybe if <laughs> if she levels up again somehow before the game is over, uh, and I have a chance to redo that, I'll redo. I don't really think it's that important. Um. Oh, right, the distillation. Oh, do you have any distillation agents? Something you need? I'm sure either my boy or I can help you out. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your... I never asked him what his story was, I realize. Distillation agents. Aha! Look at all of them, dude. Not really sure what I'm supposed to use. I don't know, but that's what I think I needed. Lyrium dust. Yeah, don't have any of that. That's uh, all the elf root I have, and I'm not going back for more, so. Oh my god.
God, they have <laughs> 60 something of these. That's fine. We don't need more than that. Sandal? Enchantment? Yes, please. Enchantment! Okay, I just want to see. I think I've got some better runes for. Uh, Alistair. Wait, which one do you normally use, Alistair? I forget. Must be this one, because this one's not enchanted. The Keening Blade. Grandmaster. Expert. Expert. Chance of Paralyze. I wish I knew what the chance was. So 9 electricity damage, 8 damage versus undead. Cool. Master Slow Rune, Master Hail Rune. Grandmaster Frost. Grandmaster Slow. <laughs> Master Dwemer. Okay. Alright, one last go around to talk to everybody, perhaps. Ask away. Maybe they have nothing to of say. Course. If Alistair doesn't. Yeah. Shit. Okay, here I was thinking, like, oh, everybody's gonna have something to say because we're approaching the end of the game. Let me just try to win. Things are coming to a here we go. Fairly quickly, aren't they? Are you ready? Um I need to overthrow it. We've already done that. Of course I'm ready. The last Grey Wardens in Ferelden. So much is expected from you. It hardly seems fair, either to you or to Alistair. I look at you sometimes, and you are so young. You face death every day. You know you are unlikely to live long. Does it frighten you? Hmm. I think I fear only an ignominious death. No, a quiet death is not for you. Your passing will be glorious. You will blaze like a falling star, lighting up the night sky. Well, it probably won't be quite that dramatic, but that sounds cool. The first blight in 400 years, and here you are, the fulcrum on which it all turns. Whatever happens, you will become legend. And if we should prevail, even if you die, you will live on in the memories of those you sacrificed everything for. Hmm. That's all I could ask for, Wynne. You, you make it sound sweet. And perhaps one day they will forget, but it will not erase what you did. Every new day that they see will be because of you, and nothing in this world will ever make that untrue. This might be going to my head, you know. I see you've kept your sense of humor through all this. It will serve you well in the coming days. <laughs> yes, the Darkspawn love a good joke. What do you want? Mm, nothing, just saying hello. All right. Hi. All right then. Everybody's beards are weird. I I guess I was thinking there'd be more conversations like when. Something I can help with? Nope. But there aren't. So we'll just kind of skip right there. I know, I know Sten has nothing more to say, because he never does. It is a curious thing. I do not know how else to describe it. Uh, what's that? Something wrong? No, nothing is wrong. It is a little embarrassing to admit, in fact. I am reminded of our first meeting in the wilds. I had been in animal form for some time, watching your progress. I was intrigued to see such a formidable woman, obviously more potent than the men she traveled with. Why, thank you. Yet I resented it when Flemeth assigned me to travel with you. I assumed that, at best, you would drive me from your company as soon as we left the wilds. Uh, why would I do that? You're so useful. <laughs> I needed a mage. 
Of course you did, and Flemeth knew this. Still, I expected the worst. I am aware that I have little talent for forming friendships. Ain't that the truth? To put it lightly, it is something I know nothing of, nor ever thought I needed. Yet when I discovered Flemeth's plans, you did not abandon me. Whatever your reasons, you fought what must have been a terrible battle without hope of real reward. Uh, did it because uh, I need you here. We, we were needed. Ferelden needs us. The extent of my usefulness does not explain the interest and kindness you have shown since the wilds. You could as easily have ignored me entirely, yet you did not. You will need to forgive me for speaking so awkwardly, but do you suppose that we have become friends, you and I? I have nothing to compare it to. Uh, yeah. I, I would call it that. Indeed. Remarkable. Of all the things I could have imagined would have resulted when Flemeth told me to go with you, the very last would have been that I would find in you a friend, perhaps even a sister. I want you to know that while I may not always prove worthy of your friendship, I will always value it. But oh. enough of such idle talk. There are more useful things to be done, surely. Morgan was downright sweet in that conversation. Yeah, these are the kinds of conversations I was expecting at this point in the game. It speaks. Yeah, never mind. They don't, if there's no conversation that starts right on the prompt, then I'm not going to do it. You are not quite as Aha, hollow as go. I thought. That is unexpected. Good. You thought I was callow? You sound surprised. You must have heard this before. <laughs> we'll get over it. Eventually. Little dick. Um, so will you tell me now why you were caged? I caged myself. A weak mind is a deadly foe, as you are no doubt aware. What was it that happened? Uh, what do you mean by a weak mind? That is complicated. I told you before that I was sent here. I was not sent alone. I came to your lands with seven of the Beresad, my brothers, to seek answers about the Blight. We made our way across the Ferelden countryside without incident, seeing nothing of the threat we were sent to observe. Until the night we camped by Lake Callanhad. I came from everywhere. The earth beneath our feet, the air above us. Our own shadows harbored the dark spawn. I saw the last of the creatures cut down, too late. I fell. Hmm. That sounds a lot like what happened to me at Ostagar. I heard the stories of Ostagar. Your kith stood their ground when others fled. No one can do more than that. I don't know how long I lay on the battlefield among the dead. Nor do I know how the farmers found me. I only know that when I woke I was no longer among my brothers. And my sword was gone from my hand. What did you do? I searched for it, and when that failed, I asked my rescuers what had become of it. Did the farmers know where it was? They said they found me with nothing. And then? I killed them. With my bare hands. I did. I knew they didn't have the blade. They had no reason to lie to me. I panicked. Unthinking, I struck them down. Uh, you panicked over a lost sword? I mean, I've got some pretty sentimental blades here, but I don't think I'd kill innocent people over losing it. That sword was made for my hand alone. I have carried it from the day I was set into the Beresad. I was to die wielding it for my people. Even if I could cross Ferelden and Tevinter, unarmed and alone, to bring my report to the Arishok, I would be slain on sight by the Antarm. They would know me as Solas, a deserter. No soldier would cast aside his blade while he drew breath. Okay, so it's because of your fucked up fascist culture that you, that you're you freaked out and those people died, huh? Um, how can your people possibly think that way? We know who we are, and what we are meant to be. Um, where did you fight the darkspawn? You said Lake Callanhead. Near Lake Callanhead. We will find it. See, dude, if you would have had this conversation with me earlier, Stan, I think it's too late to do anything about it now, man. We got to get to Redcliffe. 
No, I mean, Redcliffe is near Lake Callahan. All right, fine. Fuck it. We'll make a search for it on our way. Perhaps those words are empty, but thank you all the same. God damn it, dude. You should have opened up like 60 weeks ago. Ugh. Locate Sten's lost sword. And find closure. Oh yeah, we never found that. Huh. Spoke often of the Dalish elves and dreamed of. I've, we've been to the to the Brazilian forest since um, since we got that quest, and I didn't see anything there related to it. Uh, okay, so we are. God damn. Did that open up something new on the map? Redcliffe, Redcliffe Castle, Redcliffe Dungeons. I don't know. I don't. Uh, I don't see anything. Maybe there'll be something there when we actually leave camp. Uh, anyway, uh, this is where I'm going to close this play session. Uh, the thing that has to happen next, which you guys are probably already aware of, is we have to read the last of the codex. Now we, I think I said last time, like I'm not going to read the codex from here on out, but unlocked a lot of stuff and uh, it only feels right to give it one last go so that's what we'll do do a codex episode next time and then to Redcliffe to start the end of the game um, everybody thanks very much for sticking with it all this time until next time take care and I will see you around <laughs>